Pilaf or pilau is a dish, originating from the Indian subcontinent, in which rice is cooked in a seasoned broth. In some cases, the rice may attain its brown or golden color by first being sautéed lightly in oil before the addition of broth. Cooked onion, garlic cloves, sliced carrot, other vegetables, as well as a mix of spices, may be added. Depending on the local cuisine, it may additionally contain meat, fish, vegetables, pasta or dried fruit. It is also sometimes called rice pilaf. Believed to have originated in ancient India and spread from there to ancient Iran, pilaf and similar dishes are common to Balkan, Middle Eastern, Eastern Europe, South Caucasian, Central and South Asian, East African, Latin American, and Caribbean cuisines. It is a staple food and a popular dish in Afghanistan, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Bangladesh, Israel, Crete, India, Iran, Kazakhstan, Romania, Russia, Kurdistan, Kyrgyzstan, Nepal, Pakistan, Kenya, Tanzania, Zanzibar, Uganda, Tajikistan, Turkey, Turkmenistan, Xinjiang, and Uzbekistan. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> The English spelling is influenced by the modern Greek pilafi, which comes from the Turkish pilav, which in turn comes from Persian palo, Hindi, pulau, from Sanskrit palaka, meaning a ball of rice, which in turn is probably of Dravidian origin. A Spanish dish, paella, traditionally a communal meal made from rice and fish, shellfish, rabbit, or chicken, cooked in a large pan, has similarities in recipe and methodology, but derives from a Valencian word, out of the Old French word pile for pan. Latin, patella. History The ancient Hindu text Mahabharata from the Indian subcontinent mentions rice and meat cooked together, and the word, pulau, or palo, is used to refer to the dish in ancient Sanskrit works such as the Yajñavakya Smrta. Pilaf was known to have been served to Alexander the Great at a royal banquet following his capture of the Sogdian capital of Marikanda modern Samarkand. The first known recipe for pilaf is by the 10th century Persian scholar Avicenna, Ibn Sina, who in his books on medical sciences dedicated a whole section to preparing various dishes, including several types of pilaf. In doing so, he described advantages and disadvantages of every item used for preparing the dish. Accordingly, Persians consider Ibn Sina to be the father of modern pilaf. Pilau became standard fare in the Middle East and Transcaucasia over the years with variations and innovations by the Persians, Arabs, Turks, and Armenians. It was introduced to Israel by Bukharan and Persian Jews. During the period of the Soviet Union, the Central Asian versions of the dish spread throughout all Soviet republics, becoming a part of the common Soviet cuisine. <laughs> <laughs> Local varieties Afghanistan <laughs> 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 In Afghan cuisine, kabuli pala or kabuli pala dari, kabli plu is made by cooking basmati with mutton, lamb, beef or chicken, and oil. Kabuli pala is cooked in large shallow and thick dishes. Fried sliced carrots and raisins are added. Chopped nuts like pistachios, walnuts, or almonds may be added as well. The meat is covered by the rice or buried in the middle of the dish. The kabuli pala rice with carrots and raisins is very popular in Saudi Arabia, where it is known as raz bukhari Arabic, erz bukhari meaning bukharan rice. Armenia Armenians use a lot of bulgur cracked wheat in their pilav dishes. Lapa is an Armenian word with several meanings one of which is a watery boiled rice, thick rice soup, mush", and lepe which refers to various rice dishes differing by region. Antranig Ajdarian describes Armenian pilav as, "...dish resembling porridge". Azerbaijan <inaudible> 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 Azerbaijani cuisine includes more than 40 different plov recipes. One of the most reputed dishes is plov from saffron covered rice, served with various herbs and greens, a combination distinctive from Uzbek plovs. 
Traditional Azerbaijani plov consists of three distinct components, served simultaneously but on separate platters, rice warm, never hot, gara fried meat, dried fruits, eggs, or fish prepared as an accompaniment to rice, and aromatic herbs. Rice is not mixed with the other components even when eating plov. Rice pilaf examples from Azerbaijan Brazil. A significantly modified version of the recipe, often seen as influenced by what is called a rose pilau there, is known in Brazil as a rose de frango desfiado or incorrectly risotto de frango Portuguese, a o d f gu desfiado, shredded chicken rice, i zotu, chicken risotto, rice lightly fried and optionally seasoned, salted and cooked until soft but neither soupy nor sticky in either water or chicken stock is added to chicken stock, onions and sometimes cubed bell peppers cooked in the stock, shredded chicken breast, green peas, tomato sauce, shoyu, and optionally vegetables e.g. canned sweet corn, cooked carrot cubes, courgette cubes, broccolini flowers, chopped broccoli or broccolini stalks, leaves fried in garlic seasoning and or herbs e.g. mint, like in kanya to form a distantly risotto-like dish, but it is generally fluffy depending on the texture of the rice being added, as generally, once all ingredients are mixed, it is not left to cook longer than five minutes. In the case shredded chicken breast is not added, with the rice being instead served alongside chicken and sauce supreme, it is known as a rose supreme de frango Portuguese, os u pem i d f gu chicken supreme rice Caribbean In the Eastern Caribbean and other Caribbean territories there are variations of pelau which include a wide range of ingredients such as pigeon peas, green peas, string beans, corn, carrots, pumpkin, and meat such as beef or chicken, or cured pigtail. The seasoned meat is usually cooked in a stew, with the rice and other vegetables added afterwards. Coconut milk and spices are also key additions in some islands. Central Asia Central Asian, e.g. Tajik and Uzbek plov Tajik, palav Uzbek, palav or ash differs from other preparations in that rice is not steamed, but instead simmered in a rich stew of meat and vegetables called zervak, until all the liquid is absorbed into the rice. A limited degree of steaming is commonly achieved by covering the pot. It is usually cooked in a kazan or dagi over an open fire. The cooking tradition includes many regional and occasional variations. Commonly, it is prepared with lamb, browned in lamb fat or oil, and then stewed with fried onions, garlic and carrots. Chicken plov is rare but found in traditional recipes originating in Bukhara. Plov is usually spiced with whole black cumin, coriander, barberries, red pepper, marigold, and pepper. Heads of garlic and garbanzo beans are buried into the rice during cooking. Sweet variations with dried apricots, cranberries and raisins are prepared on special occasions, although often prepared at home for family and guests by the head of household or the housewife. Plov is made on special occasions by the Oshpaz, Osh master chef, who cooks the national dish over an open flame, sometimes serving up to 1000 people from a single cauldron on holidays or occasions such as weddings. Oshi Nahor or morning plov is served in the early morning between 6 and 9 a.m. to large gatherings of guests, typically as part of an ongoing wedding celebration. The Uzbek-style plov cooking recipes are spread nowadays throughout all post-Soviet countries and Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region of China. Rice pilaf examples from Central Asia. Topic: <laughs> Greece. In the Greek cuisine, pilafi, pilafi is the fluffy and soft, but neither soupy nor sticky, rice that has been boiled in a meat stock or bouillon broth. In northern Greece, it is considered poor form to prepare pilafi on a stovetop, the pot is properly placed in the oven. Gamapilafo wedding pilaf", is the prized pilaf served traditionally at weddings and major celebrations in Crete. Rice is boiled in lamb or goat broth, then finished with lemon juice. Gamapilafo though it bears the name is not a pilaf but rather a kind of risotto, with creamy and not fluffy texture. India 
Known as pulao, polao, palo and pulav locally, the rice dish has been an integral part of Indian cuisine since the ancient era. The Mahabharata mentions rice and meat cooked together, and the word palaka is used to refer to the dish in Sanskrit works such as the Yajnavakya Smrta. A pulao is a dish consisting of rice and a mixture of either lentils or vegetables, mainly including peas, potatoes, French beans, carrots or meat, mainly chicken, fish, lamb, pork or prawn. It is usually served on special occasions and weddings, though it is not uncommon to eat it for a regular lunch or dinner meal. It is considered very high in food energy and fat. A pulao is often complemented with either spiced yogurt or raita. Rice pilaf examples from India Iran Persian culinary terms referring to rice preparation are numerous and have found their way into the neighboring languages. Polo, rice cooked in broth while the grains remain separate, straining the half-cooked rice before adding the broth and then brewing. Chalo, white rice with separate grains. Kada, sticky rice, and tagine, slow-cooked rice, vegetables, and meat cooked in a specially designed dish, also called a tagine. There are also varieties of different rice dishes with vegetables and herbs, which are very popular among Iranians. There are four primary methods of cooking rice in Iran. Chalo, rice that is carefully prepared through soaking and parboiling, at which point the water is drained and the rice is steamed. This method results in an exceptionally fluffy rice with the grains separated and not sticky. It also results in a golden rice crust at the bottom of the pot called tadig, literally, bottom of the pot. Polo, rice that is cooked exactly the same as chalo, with the exception that after draining the rice, other ingredients are layered with the rice, and they are then steamed together. Kata, rice that is boiled until the water is absorbed. This is the traditional dish of northern Iran. Daimi, cooked almost the same as kata, except that the heat is reduced just before boiling and a towel is placed between the lid and the pot to prevent steam from escaping. Daimi literally means, simmered. Pakistan In Pakistan, pulao pla is a popular dish cooked with basmati rice and meat chicken or mutton or beef. Pulao is a rice dish, cooked in seasoned broth with rice, meat and spices. A pulao is often complemented with raita. The rice is made in mutton or beef or chicken stock and an array of spices including, coriander seeds, cumin, cardamom, cloves and others. Mutton and beef have, with time, been replaced with chicken due to higher prices of mutton. The Sindhi Pulao Sindhi, Sni Pulao in the province of Sindh, prepared with mutton or beef or chicken. It is prepared by Sindhi people of Pakistan in their marriage ceremonies, condolence meetings, and other occasions. <laughs> Palestine and Syria Traditional Levantine cooking includes a variety of pilaf known as maklaba, known across the countries of the eastern Mediterranean. The rice pilaf which is traditionally cooked with meats, eggplants, tomatoes, potatoes, and cauliflower also has a fish variety known as sayadiya, or the fisherman's dish. <laughs> Turkey Turkish cuisine contains many different pilav types and is the inspiration behind most of the variations in Armenia, Balkans, Greece, and Arab countries due to their past under Ottoman Empire rule. Some of these variations are parink rice pilav, bulgur pilav, and arpa seriya orzo pilav. Using mainly these three types, Turkish people make many dishes such as perdeli pilav, and etli pilav rice cooked with cubed beef. Unlike Chinese rice, if Turkish rice is sticky, it is considered unsuccessful. To make the best rice according to Turkish people, one must rinse the rice, cook in butter, then add the water and let it sit until it soaks all the water. This results in a pilav that is not sticky and every single rice grain falls off of the spoon separately. See also List of rice dishes Fried rice Nasi lemak Nasi goreng